Guys, you've seen the X-rigging rings used as top rigging points, as choked in redirects, and as floating redirects. This video is to show the rings used as a traveling redirect to solve an unusual rigging problem. Here you see two rings uh, on a rigging loop. Actually, this is the locking prusik from the beast rigging whoopee with the extra beast girth hitched into the fat end of the prusik. That is the traveling redirect and the rigging problem we're trying to solve is to get a load up quickly across an obstruction and flown into a safe landing area. But we don't have a high rigging point available behind the load. Here you see the basic rigging setup. The line on the left is the lifting line to the load. The line on the right is a taut line running from a close-in rigging point to a ground anchor. And the load is attached to the lifting line being redirected by the X-ring. Let's look at this rig from above. Here you see the lifting line on the left and the taut line on the right going to an X-ring saver and back down the tree to a porty. The lifting line goes to rigging point two, which is back over the landing zone, comes back down the tree to another X-ring redirect. This is the X-ring beast whoopee uh, redirecting the lifting line to my tractor. And here we see the lift starting. During the early part of the lift, the taut line serves to act as an upside down speed line to control the, the trajectory of the, of the load. You can see the load is going up the bank with a minimum of damage to vegetation and it'll continue until rigging point number one. And at rigging point number one, the taut line changes its mission. At that point, the taut line flips around and becomes more like a tag line or a bridle controlling the pendulum swing of the load away from rigging point two. What you're going to see now is a little bit Mickey Mouse. If two men were working this rig, this would be a slick part of the operation. One would take in on the lifting line, the other would pay out on the taut line porty, and the load would fly directly into the landing zone. The entire lift would be over in 30 or 40 seconds done. But because I'm working alone, I have to traipse back and forth between the tractor and the porty. So what you're looking at here is the sequence of small changes I'm making with the dead time edited out of the video. While we're looking at this, I'd like to say something about the X-ring saver there at rigging point one on the right. The saver is a really good choice compared to throwing a rigging line through that crotch and pulling a block up as a, a rigging redirect. Uh, the rings can swivel and pivot and keep the line running fair as the load passes that point and you don't have to worry about cross feeding a tail block. And of course with the saver you're putting half the load on that tree than, than you would if you um, tied off a rigging block from, uh, from the ground. So here's a load down in the landing zone. You can see from the topography why we had to set the second rigging point back so far. Uh, for the basket, I used uh, the big strong tarp from Luke and the thing uh, worked like a champ, very, very durable and strong. Uh, 
I would guess that I was running five, six, seven hundred pounds per load, and uh, nothing was uh, nothing was complaining. It was uh, an easy lift. Here's the flotsam I collected off the shoreline. This is the product of five lifts. Everything went smoothly and the savers installed and distance, disinstalled flawlessly. I have to say that the X-rings just continue to amaze me at how flexible they are. Thanks for watching.